If you ask certain people why they can't stand religion or Christianity, chances are part of their answer will include this statement. Christians are judgmental. And as sad as I am to admit it, many times they're correct. You don't have to look far to find judgmental, critical people pointing their fingers at others in the name of religion. Personally, I find this depressing and also a bit ironic considering Jesus commanded us to love our neighbors and he explicitly taught us not to judge them. Here's one of the many things he taught about. It. It's in Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 through 5. Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite! First take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. In other words, Jesus is saying, mind your own business. Love your neighbors, don't judge them. We all have our own issues, so we have no right to judge others. And also on top of that, we can never see the full picture. We don't know the details of everyone's story. We haven't walked in their shoes. We don't have all the data needed to make a definitive evaluation of someone else's life. And if that's not motivation enough, Jesus says that we will be judged with the same strictness that we judge others with. That's terrifying. I don't want to be judged. I want to experience love, grace, forgiveness, and friendship. And thankfully, that's exactly what Jesus offers us. And also, it's what he asks us to offer others. So that means we don't need to police other people's behavior. We don't need to criticize and critique. We don't need to try and force feed them a faith that they may not be interested in. Instead, Jesus says we need to learn to love our neighbors. Despite any cultural or theological disagreements, despite behavior we may or may not approve of, despite what we think we see or we think we know about someone, we're supposed to offer love, grace, forgiveness, and friendship to everyone who crosses our path. And maybe, just maybe, if enough of us follow Jesus on this one, we can flip the script on how people view Christianity in our day.